what's going on guys it's Omni York and today I'm bringing you a brand new video where we're going to be going over how you can easily get more gear in infinite galaxy you know I really wanted a soda for this video but I already had two energy drinks and a coffee today and the store was totally out of caffeine free i don't know how i'm gonna cope for the next however many days until they resupply i don't know anyway gear is super important in infinite galaxy because it provides a ton of stats to your flagships there are two different types of gear there are weapons and there are armor or protection what it says down here each type of weapon focuses on a particular type of attack so there's kinetic missile or laser and they also come in four different rarities just like virtually everything else in this game there is green blue purple and gold in increasing rarity and you know power as well now the amount of gear that you can put on a flagship depends on the flagship's rarity so you can see here that all three of my purple tier flagships can have up to four weapons and four pieces of protection whereas my blue rarity argo right here only gets four different weapons and three pieces of protection now if we go over to a legendary flagship this can get five weapons and five pieces of protection so you can see how when we look at some of these pieces of gear you know if we have this level two uh, electromagnetic cannon this gives you a 2.2 percent increase in your kinetic weapon attack so multiply that by five and that's how much you're going to get for putting all of them on a single legendary flagship plus the fact that you can continue to upgrade them to level three and and so on so the difference between a flagship with gear and without gear is you know sometimes 30 percent or more of stats and we didn't even talk about protection as well right so hopefully this introduction has made it clear to you why you should be focusing on gear in this game because it does make a really big difference and if you're not focusing on this and you're you're kind of ignoring this portion of the game you're really leaving a lot of benefit on the table that you could be taking advantage of so that then begs the question how do you get more pieces of gear well you can actually craft gear with particular materials as well as blueprints and good news there's a ton of ways to get blueprints and materials absolutely for free just by doing stuff that you're normally going to do every single day when you log into infinite galaxy so the first thing we'll talk about is the thing that we talk about in all of these types of videos and that is your daily missions the 80 point reward here for your daily missions gives you a single flagship gear blueprint chest so this is good you're gonna get this every single day now these chests it's a blue rarity you're gonna get a random piece of a, a random blueprint from that chest but like I said it's free you're gonna get it every single day so make sure you do your dailies we talk about this in every single video next we can talk about the campaign this is another aspect of the game that we talk about a ton and getting three stars on these missions is crucial the reason this is important is because the sort of boss battle if you get three stars on it you get upwards of seven or more flagship gear blueprints print chests these are really really good like I said dailies you only get one just by beating this you get seven so super super important and then all of the campaign missions leading up to that point you're going to be able to get some material chests as well now just like the blueprint chests these are not something you pick when you open up these chests you get a random assortment of materials and then you can use that to craft your different pieces of gear in the game another free and easy way that you can be getting some materials is just by defeating marauders out in the galaxy right these large marauders literally any type of marauder is going to give you some sort of or they have the chance of giving you some sort of a material piece when you defeat them so make sure you do it right you can attack these things for free as long as you have some energy and you you replenish this energy over time right it just comes back naturally so if you're not attacking these marauders you're effectively getting less materials every day than you could be otherwise which reminds me i have to attack some stuff if i go through my mail every time you see me attacking one of these space pirates you're gonna see some sort of uh, material drops from them which is nice this one i didn't get it but most of them i do right most of them i do get it which is nice see we got it from that one as well we got some from that we got oh let's see about the one we just defeated we got some there so it's pretty common that you get a piece of material from a marauder so make sure you do it it's definitely worth it now if you're in an alliance you can come over here to the alliance shop and this shop will reset every single day at reset and the items in here do change but you can get some materials in exchange for your alliance honor the way that you get this honor is just donate to this tech just go ahead and do it you can get these uh donations over time they do replenish as you use them or 
you want you could use corium as well and you actually get way more of this honor for a corium donation so keep that in mind but yeah check this shop at reset and you will be able to get some uh some materials for free which is nice another part of your dailies is defeating the campaign simulation center and this actually gives you really nice rewards right we talked about this with the federation credits but you also get some material chests as well so doing this as part of your dailies not only accomplishes your dailies but you also get some materials in the form of chests so make sure you defeat the campaign simulation center every single day it's important and the rewards are good and it's easy another super easy way that you can get materials is just by investigating and prospecting every single thing that you see on the map whether it's a damaged warship migrant ship or small meteorites whatever it is just go ahead and send out those scouts to investigate and prospect it's going to be easy free it happens over time so just go ahead and do it if you don't again you're leaving stuff you're leaving rewards on the table it's it's free you might as well take it while it's there now if you have some corium you can spend then you can go into the spaceport here and all the way off to the right you'll find the trade center and there's a shop in here and in here you can actually just purchase these material chests for corium now keep in mind that if you have a piece of material let's say it's a green piece of material and you need a blue material for a particular weapon or protection that you want to craft right then you can combine four green rarities for a single blue rarity right and I can show you that here it's pretty straightforward and, and other games do very similar things but I'm sorry if we go into the outfitting depot right if we want to use this alloy right here which I can't so let's go over to the living metal if we go to fuse you can see that um, for every four of these I can get one of the you know blue version of the living metal so that's how that works which is nice to know because if you go into the trade center then you can see that the cost of the green materials and the cost of the the blue materials is actually the same right because 50 times 4 which is how many would equivalent uh, would be equivalent to a blue is 200 right so there's really no uh there's no discount to buying the blues there's no penalty for buying the greens it's just it's the same all around so if you only want to make a small investment that you can buy the greens but if you want the biggest amount of materials possible then I, of course you can go for the blues keep in mind though uh you can buy a thousand of these i don't know when this if this resets ever if this is a daily reset a weekly reset whatever this is but if you're spending a ton of corium here just keep in mind that these chests are random so you are not guaranteed to get the materials that you might be looking for so uh, this you know it's a pretty big investment uh, I don't know if I would recommend buying these because like I said there's so many other ways that you can get materials but if you really like want to upgrade fast uh, or you're really close to, to being able to upgrade then perhaps you can bridge the gap here by dropping a little bit of corium now another free way that you can actually get some materials and blueprints and things like that is through events right you go up to the event calendar and the archean ghost ship i don't even know if i'm saying that right archean archean am i saying that right comment down below if i'm saying that wrong but if you go through here the individual rewards will give you some flagship gear blueprint chests which is really really nice plus you also get these uh prestige points as well so this is good for recruiting some crew we talked about that in in the uh, crew video go ahead and check that out if you missed it but if you rank really well here on an individual basis or on a alliance basis or whatever the case might be um, the rewards are pretty pretty nice so make sure you go ahead and participate in this event uh, you'll see here that you know some of these like the individual rewards will give you those the alliance and the ranking rewards uh, don't but still and I'm sure that there will be um, other events that come out in the future that will also give you some of the blueprint chests or the material chests things like that and usually the events will have some sort of alliance component where you can do an alliance event and I'm sure that some of the rewards there will also line up and give you some materials blueprints things like that finally there are bundles that you could purchase if you wanted to speed up this process as well now again I just talked about a ton of free ways that you can get all of this stuff every single day just by doing things that you're going to be doing in the game anyway right you're going to be defeating marauders you're going to be doing your dailies all that stuff is free quick easy right but if you want to spend a little bit of money you can you do have that option of you know for five bucks you're going to get a, a ton of stuff in this bundle but you will get six of these flagship gear blueprint chests and you'll get 15 pieces of green material so that is nice there was also the limited time bundle that I bought uh, it was ten dollars and it gave me four thousand corium plus I got a ton of these flagship gear blueprint chests right off the bat so that was a really nice bundle that I that I decided to make the the purchase on I just thought that it was worth it because other ten dollar bundles don't give you this much corium plus this was just a ton of flagship gear blueprint chests. so again you don't have to buy these bundles but it will give you a nice little bit of an edge right if you're doing all the stuff already but you still want to get some more 
this is a way that you can go ahead and do that guys if you found this video useful or entertaining or informative or anything like that make sure you drop a thumbs up on it it really does help out the channel a ton and make sure you subscribe to the channel and click that bell to be notified the next time that i upload an infinite galaxy video i know like 77 percent of you guys are not subbed so if you're coming back and these videos are useful click that sub button it just helps you it helps me it's, it's good for everybody as always my social media links are in the description below so make sure you follow me over there on instagram twitter facebook discord all that stuff is always in the description below and finally there there is a link in the description below to download infinite galaxy absolutely for free for your android device your ios device or even your emulators like blue stacks the link down below will get you this game absolutely free and the game is new it's fun it looks absolutely gorgeous and you got nothing to lose with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been omniarch i will talk to you guys again soon peace